After months of back and forth, Manatee County Commissioners have approved the controversial Aqua by the Bay project. Developers using today's special land use meeting to convince the commission and the community to give this huge project the green light. And apparently it worked. ABC 7's Dwayne Lindo joins us live in Manatee County with more on today's decision. Dwayne? Well, that's right, Scott. It sure did work. Despite public opposition, it was a unanimous 7-0 to zero vote. The commission listened to both sides, but with all the changes made by Medallion Homes, the commission said they had to make this approval. Manatee County resident Andy Mele doesn't hold back with how he feels about Aqua by the Bay. Well, it's a crummy project. There's no question about that. His group, Suncoast Waterkeepers, serves to protect and restore Florida's environment. He says the developer is doing quite the opposite. It's uh, overstuffed. It's uh, jacked up to maximize profits at the expense of the environment and the people of Manatee County. The Medallion Homes development between El Conquistador Parkway and Sarasota Bay would include more than 2,300 multifamily and 500 single-family homes, proposing 16 buildings up to 95 feet high. In order to pack in the permitted number of uh, residential units, they're going to have to uh, create a virtual wall of buildings. There's no way to avoid it. There's not enough property. But the main issue, according to Melee, is the estuary enhancement area proposed by developers, which could be eight feet deep in some portions. That's what this is all about. That's why everybody's here. That's why all the torches and pitchforks are out. Created behind a valuable mangrove fringe. This is where all the fish and the, uh, a lot of the shellfish, so many commercially important species are, are, uh, are protected and nurtured and fed among the roots of the mangroves. And it's the last two mile stretch of really high quality wetlands left on Sarasota Bay. Despite the opposition, developers say they are committed to doing this right every step of the way. We have revised the wetland impacts from 13.29 acres to 7.93 acres. Now, that was one of the changes made by Medallion Homes. They also removed the estuary enhancement area, also known as the lagoon, and the removal of the upland retaining wall. A combination of those changes satisfied the commission, leading to their decision. Reporting live in Manatee County, Dwayne Lindo, your Suncoast News.